Now you don't need woodworking plans, but you do need a plan. Today I'm going to show you how you can build just about any woodworking project completely by yourself from start to finish. Let's get started. Hello there, I'm Jason with Doing It With Jason, and I have built thousands of kitchen cabinets, furniture pieces, you name it, from start to finish without even touching a woodworking plan. To me, woodworking plans are one way to make money, and that's great, completely awesome, but they're also a headache. And it seems more often than not that you end up having to adjust the plans to make it right for your space, for your size, and by that time, you might as well just make it from scratch yourself. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to start that project that you've been wanting to build. And just as you do with woodworking plans, you can use this idea for anything. You can change it up to work with whatever you are building. You can use this exact same technique that I'm showing you today on any project, whether it be you're building a drawer for a cabinet, a door for a cabinet, a furniture piece from scratch, a cabinet from scratch, all these things are universal and getting that idea from paper to cut list to furniture piece. So when you start bringing everything into a flat world, it makes things a lot easier. Let's start off with something simple like a butcher block just to get our feet wet. Now say we know we want our final butcher block width to be nine inches wide and we know our boards we're gonna be using are one inches wide. We know we're gonna need nine of those pieces to make that outside equal nine inches using the one inch pieces. Now say we wanted this final dimension to still be nine, but we wanted to use half inch stock, then we would just double it. You would just take those half inch pieces and then use twice as many. That'll get you to the nine inches. I know what you're thinking. That's just a butcher block. How hard can it be? But to understand what we just did with the butcher block by figuring out the in-between is how you make your furniture piece or your cabinet piece. So now let's lay out a nine inch cabinet just to show you what I'm talking about. Now when we're laying out the cabinet, we have nine inches from left to right. That's our width. And now to figure out the in-between, we have to know our final dimension and then how thick is all the material that we're using. That is your number one plug-in for this formula. Now say we're doing a typical three-quarter inch side on our cabinet. So we're gonna label that three quarters of an inch on each one and measure out from there. Now to keep it simple, we're gonna pretend this is a frameless cabinet and we're just using three-quarter or 18 millimeter sides for our cabinet. Now we take off three quarter and three quarter, which is an inch and a half from the nine, and that leaves us with seven and a half. That's what we know our opening is gonna be for the cabinet. Now using that opening number, which is a seven and a half, we know our bottom of our cabinet is gonna go seven and a half because it's gonna go in between and sandwiched between our two three quarter plywood sides. So the same way we just figured out the width for this cabinet that we're gonna hypothetically be building, we can now spin the cabinet sideways and do the side dimensions the same exact way. Now, if we want this cabinet to be overall 24 inches deep, including the door, what we do is we lay it out. So we're gonna lay out 24 inches right here on as I'm doing, and then we're gonna add three quarters of an inch right here in the front for our door. We're not adding, we're just putting it in the in-between and then now depending on our back, if we're using quarter inch backs, we're just gonna add or put in between a quarter of an inch. And now what's left over in the in between is what's gonna give us our measurement for how deep that seven and a half inch wide board is gonna be that we're gonna cut out for our bottom of our cabinet. And now you can go one step further, flip the cabinet over, and now we go for the height. We're gonna measure the height the same exact way. Say we want this overall to be 34 and a half inch tall for a standard kitchen cabinet. We're gonna add in our toe kick underneath to bring up that bottom shelf which would be about four and a half inches is what I like to use. Now, once we brought up the four and a half inches for our toe kick, we know exactly where to set that bottom piece of plywood for this cabinet. And now you don't have to stop with kitchens. You don't have to stop with butcher blocks. You can keep going. You can do this for any project that you are thinking of making. Along with prototyping, if you're doing something very high end and delicate and there's a lot of moving parts or whatnot, depending on what you're building, you might want to do a prototype for that. But for something simple like a non-moving cabinet that just has doors and drawers or a furniture piece with drawers and doors, this is the ultimate way for you to lay out your next piece. So hopefully this video helped you out a little bit, get your brain kind of tinkering and going on how to build and construct things from scratch without plans. If it did, be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate. Leave them down below in the comment section. I will get to them and help you out as much as I can. We'll see you next time.